Welcome into this week's Coyote Net Report. I'm here with Coach Leanne Williamson off of Biz Big Week at Home. A pair of wins, a pair of sweeps. Um, a 3-0 sweep over <coughs> our arch rival South Dakota State to take the season series with them. And a 3-0 sweep over Oral Roberts to take the season series with them. So a big week, uh, just a, a strong 2-0 Summer League weekend. With a pair of sweeps, your thoughts on protecting the home floor this week? Yeah, I thought our team did a very good job coming into this weekend. Um, I, I think even just watching film from two weeks ago, uh, something we told our team, I think we're very different. Um, I think we're making the improvements that we need to make, and I think this weekend shows that. Um, you know, to start with SDSU, uh, always going to be a good rivalry match, and I think our team really handled it um, with with a lot of confidence. I mean, our start wasn't the greatest, but. Um, really stayed the course and ended the first game on a 19-4 run, which was really good. Um, and then I think each of the next two games, too, having a couple really big runs for ourselves. So um, that was a great match for us. And then Oral Roberts, um, you know, they're they're good. Um, they're, they're very defensive-oriented as well. I mean, they keep the ball off the floor. They're scrappy. Um, and we knew that we were going to have to take um, multiple big swings in a rally in order to score points in a lot of situations. So um, I thought for our team to come out and – and kind of handle that as well. I mean, we were pushing the third set, uh, but you know, I thought overall, really good team weekend for us. Uh, reflections from South Dakota State uh, and taking the season series uh, 2-0 and, uh, and winning that uh, part of the showdown series. Yeah, I mean, we, we love being able to uh, play that match and, you know, it's always one that I think I get a little bit more nervous for. Um, you know, I think in, in a lot of ways um, people expect us to win that and I don't, just don't think that that's always the case just because it is a rivalry game. They always play really well against us. Um, so for us to handle that, do really well throughout the match, have some different people step up and play really well both of our middles had a lot of success that night which was good to see um, scoring us scoring from different parts of the floor um, and then obviously being able to get the two points for you know South Dakota in the series um, is great going into uh, the rest of league play for us and then obviously the rest of the showdown series for um, the two universities and then Oral Roberts uh, a big end of the weekend and, and being able to maintain that position in second place in the standings. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't quite know what to expect uh, going into that match. I mean, obviously, we had watched film and we knew kind of what to expect out of them. Um, we had seen kind of how they played against North Dakota on Friday night um, when they won that match. Um, so I, I knew that they were going to challenge us in ways. Um, you just never know how your team is going to react in those situations. So um, I was really happy to see the way we did react. I thought offensively, you know, we scored the ball at a pretty high rate. We hit over 250 as a team. Um, both of our middles hit 350 or above, which is a really good number. Um, and obviously our, our right side as well, hitting over 360. So, and we had some really good people out on the floor that were taking care of the ball. And I think our defense really got going again. And, um, you know, after Friday, we scored the ball at such a high rate that our defensive numbers weren't the greatest. Um, so going into Sunday, um, not that, you know, the numbers mean everything because obviously we were winning in those moments, but that was kind of a focus for for us again and I think the first time through the lineup um, they did some things that we expected them to do but at the same time it's a little bit different to see it in person um, and then after that I thought our team did a really good job of picking those things up and and defending at a really high rate too so um, you know anytime you can obviously win um, in the Summit League is going to be good it's great for us to be able to maintain that position um, in the Summit League right now and we feel like we're in a really good spot going into this this stretch of road matches. And just a quick recap, uh, in the South Dakota State match, Haley Dotseth leading the way with 15 kills, backed up by Taylor Wilson with 10, and Claire Gertis uh, getting her first start in the Summit League play with 8, uh, Madison Jurgens with 35 assists, and turning into Sunday's match where you have, four, like you said, four in double figures and digs defensively, uh, more balls to dig up obviously in Sunday's match, and, and yet you almost can't put in four in, in offensive numbers too with Haley uh, leading the way with 16 kills, Taylor and Claire with 11, and Elizabeth Lotion with nine. Uh, just talk about the lineup changes. I mean, Claire getting a chance to play this week and, and what kind of spark that gave to the team this week. Yeah, I mean, I think first, you know, Haley and Taylor have been pretty consistent for us throughout the season. I think you're always going to see them at the top of our numbers in a lot of situations. Um, I don't think that's going to be a surprise. Um, but then I think, you know, like I said, Loesch came through and did some really good things for us. And then, uh, you know, Claire is one that has had um, some opportunities in the past. Um, she kind of got beat out for a little while, but these last two 
weeks. She's just been playing really well in practice. So, you know, we felt like she had earned that right to get a start on Friday. Um, and I thought she handled it really well. I mean, she didn't look timid. She scored the ball at a high rate. I mean, she had eight kills, hit 4-12. Um, and then on Sunday to back it up with 11 kills um, and hitting 476. I mean, that's that's just really, really good. And for a freshman who really hasn't played as much throughout the year, we are really happy to see that. And I hope that can continue for her um, going into the rest of the conference. Uh, and Kyle sit at 14-8 overall and 8-2 and in the Summit League, heading into probably the most difficult stretch of matches this season, uh, especially in conference play. A big three-week or three-match, five-day road trip, which begins Friday in Macomb at Western Illinois, continues Sunday against Purdue Fort Wayne, <laughs> and finishes up against the league-leading Denver uh, team in Colorado on Tuesday. Just talk about some this. I mean, this huge weekend coming up in three matches in five days. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've known that this trip has been coming for a while, and it's not necessarily our favorite trip. I mean, I think I would be naive to say that this is going to be a simple trip. Um, I think the biggest challenge is just being on the road. I mean, I, I think any time that you um, you can't play in front of your home fans, it makes a difference. Obviously, you're on a bus for a while for the first two, um, and then flying out to Denver after that. But, um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing is just taking it one day at a time. Um, you know, really focusing right now. You know, today is a rest day, so you get to just um, relax you know get ready again and then Tuesday Wednesday prepare in our home gym and then obviously Thursday get on the bus and, and drive to Western so um, you know our first focus is Western taking care of that uh, making sure that we're playing um, our best volleyball that we can um, whether it's on the road or at home um, but I think our, our players have done a good job of preparing themselves for this as well you know we were able to give them a, a day, an extra day off last week um, for them to recover a little bit more and we felt like that was kind of a good a good time for it uh, um, really our last time to be able to do that um, you know and they said themselves they just felt really refreshed coming in the next day so um, and obviously sweeping both teams this weekend you know I think that definitely helps us I think we just feel we our bodies feel better right now so um, you know I think right now just in the situation that we are we feel like this is a good time for it um, it's definitely going to be a challenge but you know I definitely think our team is up for that challenge and you, you look at the conference standings obviously a uh, tie with Omaha right now for a second right behind Denver and yet Outside of these first two road trip matches, Denver and Omaha are the next two matches after that. I mean, I know you can't look too far ahead, but we're going to find a lot about our seeding in the conference tournament based on this next stretch of games. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a you know a big big two weeks for us, and you know I think we're right now. I mean, other than obviously wishing that we could be in that first place spot, um, but you know that's obviously not what um, we've done to this point. But we feel like we're still in a good spot. You know, being second right now, being tied for second, um, you know, having this road tri road stretch um, we feel like we can really do some things right now and um, we're a little bit more in control than obviously what we were a week ago so um, you know we can really control our destiny to a point um, and we're going to continue to do that one day at a time.